What is up guys? It's Wacky Wax and I am at Monkey Town today. Have you got your monkey on? <laughs> to actually add some style so I would imagine this is where you check out the monkeys do you know where we're going yeah. oh we see them we see them make it better together now we're strong don't question it the truth will break your chains we have the key Open your eyes and see We are the ones who know the answers And they ain't never gonna hold us back The tour guide behind me just said that chimpanzees are seven times stronger than humans Seven times If you do decide to come here, check the weather. It is so hot, my back is soaking wet and it becomes slightly uncomfortable. But other than that, more importantly, monkeys can get quite feisty. So hold on to your stuff and don't feed them because they will throw you out. How am I gonna get? Oh my! <laughs> He's happy that I'm locked in now. Ellen, how long have you been with Monkey Town? Uh, I feel like a bit of a monkey uh, myself. I've been involved with monkeys for easily 12 years, okay. um, on and off. Mm -hmm. um, the best part about working with monkeys, monkeys don't talk back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting and fun because you learn something new every day yeah, yeah. and there's never two days exactly the same. How many monkeys do you have on site? Monkey Town currently have 252 monkeys, 28 species of monkeys, 60 okay. different kinds of animals mm -hmm. and at the moment we're blessed with 60 newborn babies oh, of it? which the youngest one is only two days old today. Oh, okay. So tell me, so who nurtures these monkeys? Do you have doctors on site? How does it work? Okay, Monkey Town is privately owned. There's not okay. a cent coming from the government to maintain the spark. Okay. If one monkey die on the premises without it being natural yeah. reasons, the place actually can get a huge fine. Mm -hmm. So when a monkey died, they do a full post-mortem at the SPCA in Stellenbosch okay. to determine why the monkey died. Another question, I see the, the place is very family friendly, your staff is fantastic. We can't argue with the fact that there are people maybe out there that say maybe have a phobia with regards to monkeys. Have you had any incidents in the past with any of the monkeys maybe getting aggressive and getting out of van? And if so, what is the measures that you take? Okay, first and foremost, the best part about Monkey Town, humans are in a cage and monkeys go where they want to go. Fantastic. So the like monkeys, we, like we are, we are currently, okay. the monkeys think we are the monkeys, they're looking okay. at us, okay? So in order for a monkey to get aggressive with you or get hold of you, yeah. you need to be sticking your fingers inside of the fence, okay? okay? okay. Um, it's amazing, but monkeys sense it immediately when someone does not have a good heart. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes they react negatively, but they can't get to you. Yeah, yeah. So even though they are aggressive, it's not like they can attack you yeah, yeah. because like I said, they have the freedom and we are in a cage. I see that as you're walking through the site, I mean, you're familiar with all the monkeys. How do you remember all of them? Okay, it's almost like a child going to school for the first time. The first day of school, it's impossible to know all the kids by name. Yeah. By the end of the year, you know them. We make it easy for ourselves. When a mommy's name begins with A, the baby's name will start with A. Okay. Like Abby, Alfie, Alex, Asterix. Okay. So you've got some sort of naming convention going on they just do, to remember who they are. Yes, and they do respond to their names. Mm -hmm. There is differences between them, different hairstyles, colors, shapes, yeah. sizes, different personalities. Okay. I also note that uh, when you were doing a tours, you said that uh, the chimpanzees are like up to seven times stronger than a human. 
So don't you think it's a little bit intimidating? Have you had any incidents before or is it just based on trust and the fact that you know them? Um, luckily, the chimpanzee specifically, okay, um, like most of the animals here, we tend to get um, on the other side more than what obviously the customers get. So yeah, yeah. we're the ones normally in the dangerous situations. But luckily for us, the mood around the chimpanzee island, they're absolutely terrified of water. Oh, I saw it that took us to nearly board. three months just to get them to go over to cross the bridge. In the wild, the chimpanzee will never approach any riverbed, yeah, yeah. bend over and drink water. They'll take a leaf, stick the leaf in the water, suck the water out of the leaf, or put their fingers in and suck the water out of their fingers. Oh. They're scared of snakes and crocodiles, yeah, yeah. and that's why they stay clear of okay. water. Another question is, I mean, because monkeys are so cute, we see them walking around here, you can't help but ask the question, can one as a South African or in the world, in fact, have a monkey as a pet? Okay, this is my message to anyone considering a monkey as a pet. No monkey will ever make a good pet. Yeah. A monkey can die of a broken heart yeah, yeah. as soon as five days without attention. Having a monkey as a pet is exactly the same like looking after a two-year-old human child for the rest of your yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. If that's easy, go ahead and get a monkey. A lot of the monkeys that are here, 90% of them would not have been alive if they did not come here. They've either been pets of people or born in captivity. If we put them back in the wild, they won't survive a day. Oh, no. People tend to have them as pets as soon as they discover how much hard work it is, yeah, yeah. then the and monkeys the end up well. here. Alan, listen, thanks a lot for your time and I really appreciate it. You guys are doing fantastic work. Hopefully we can get more people to come through now and come and visit. Okay. And uh, yeah, we really enjoyed that day. Anything else you want to say? Just want to add something. Remember, this time of the year, it's obviously very busy. But Monkey Town makes a lot of money seven months in the year. What okay. do you think happen in winter? Yeah, yeah, if yeah. there's two people on a winter's day, that's a lot. Yeah. For the town when this place make money, it need to carry through for when the times yes, yeah. are rough. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And even though people are reluctant to come in winter, we tend to drop our prices, especially to make it easier oh, for our okay. locals okay. to come. And you see more monkeys the colder it is. Oh, okay. The hotter cool. it is, yeah, the yeah. lazier they are. The colder it is, the more they need to run around to keep their body more temperatures warm. Basically, it's not a seasonal thing. You open throughout the year, 365 days. Yes, yeah, Because I heard, I think it was you or someone else said that you're here like since the 15th. Yes, since the 16th of December, straight okay. through. Guys, just again, testament to what I was saying earlier on, these guys are working incredibly hard and they often don't get the recognition they deserve. So come through to Monkey Town, come and check it out. Buy your ticket, I promise you won't be sorry. Alan, once again, thanks a lot, man. Yeah. Very, very nice to chat to you, my friend. Yeah. Very nice to meet you. Hopefully we bump into each other soon again. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yeah.